Hello, and welcome to the very first B's and T's stitching. Um, I have never done this before. I'm a little nervous, so um, I apologize if I say um or pause or kind of forget things a little bit. Uh, this is take four, so hopefully this will work this time. Um, I do, I'm going to look over to the side here because I have a little list of um, how I want to do this. So, uh, the first is introduction. So, hi, I'm um, Tina, or seaweed, a lot of people call me online, that's fine. Um, I have been sewing on and off, uh, probably since about maybe middle school or high school, but mostly off. Um, I've really started to stitch in earnest um, in the last maybe year, year and a half or so, um, where I've really started to kind of get a lot of um, different flosses and fabrics and um, really trying different things um, so you know that's been kind of how I've sort of progressed uh, thankfully there is a LNS around here so um, you know obviously um, along with a lot of really great places online so uh, I can get I can try all sorts of cool stuff um, so that's kind of nice uh, the second is what am I drinking today so I have my uh, tea and of course a B glass um, got this from I believe it was World Market really pretty inexp inexpensive and it's great it's pretty large so it holds a, a good amount of tea uh, so what I am drinking now is what I have been told is a fairly common um, builders tea or drinkers tea from England called PG tips um, so this would be what you would have kind of like every day just in your kitchen to have something in the morning or whatever. Uh, so, um, and I, I live in the South, if you can't tell. And um, so if you have a Publix, I know that they have them there, um, as well as some Walmarts have been carrying them. Uh, one nice thing about the PG Tips is that I usually like um, my tea strong. So, um uh, a lot of times I use two tea bags, but with the PG tips, um, you only have to use one, uh, which is really nice. So, um, you know, it's the bags go, oh, hi, cat. That's Selena, my cat. Hello, my baby. And uh, she might show up from time to time. But uh, anyway, so, um, so, sorry. Uh, so, you know, I can, uh, I keep it nice and strong and also way too sweet. Hi, baby. You decided you want to come say hi? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, so it looks like we have a visitor, so hopefully she won't overpower me. Um, so that is um, the one I'm drinking today. Um, personal life and updates. Since um, this is my first, I don't really have a lot. Um, I work from home, so I actually have pretty much been isolating myself, you know, with all this stuff. So that works out all right. Uh, my husband is in retail. So, you know, if anybody is possibly, um, you know, in, in danger, um, it would definitely be him more than me. Uh, but, you know, we're just doing the best we can. So we're, we're good. Um, that's really about it. And I, I do have some stuff from um, um, market, like, you know, like, most everybody else does, so I'll show that in a minute. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there won't be any mail call, obviously. Um, and um, actually, no, I take that back. There actually was one thing I did get in the mail just today. I forgot. Um, uh, I watch I watch a bunch of different uh, YouTubers, and uh, one of them I just started fairly recently was uh, Two Martini Stitcher, who is she's amazing. Uh, I always love to see what she's drinking and what she's stitching every week. Um, and I actually won a, um, a giveaway from her. So I got cute little cats. Not as cute as her, but you know, but still cute cats. There you go. And, um, sorry about the light. This is, I have an old camera and, um, I'm waiting to see if I really get into this and maybe I'll, I'll try to upgrade a little bit. Um, but I got, it's Country Cottage Kids, A Pirate's Life for Me. I love anything pirates. Uh, especially the movies. Um, so I am looking forward to this. Um, looking forward to being able to um, uh, being able to stitch that. So I take that back. So I did have one mail call. Uh, Q and A, obviously nothing yet. Um, 
I will put my email down in the description there. So if you guys do have any questions, please feel free to to, uh, to email me and I'll answer them. Um, for fully finished objects, I really don't know how to finish things other than a Miscornu. You can kind of see over my shoulder a little bit that Dragon Miscornu. Um, so you probably won't see much. And the cat's coming back. Hi, cat. Hi, Selena. All right, and she's gone. So um, you probably won't see very much in the finished objects, fully finished objects. Um, you know, we'll um, kind of see how that goes. Um, for finished objects, I do have a couple. Um, I've been kind of a, on a little bit of a finishing spree lately. Uh, this one will actually stay in the hoop that it's in. I did this as a little um, commission online. Somebody saw what I was doing, and they said, hey, can you do a Pokemon Sprite? I was like, sure. And I um, pretty much put this out in about two days. So it's Piplup. I think he's one of the starters, but I'm not sure. Of, like, the later series in Pokemon. But he's cute. So it's a little penguin-y sort of thing. Um, the other two that I finished kind of recently, um, and they're not fully finished or anything, obviously. This was French Country Crow from JBW Designs, I believe. Uh, I like to have all the little motifs. There's like a little cat in there and a couple of birds and a squirrel. For a squirrel, I've ever done. Uh, and a pumpkin. And so it's, it's kind of neat. I like that idea. And I've got some other stuff from JBW. So you'll probably be seeing them uh, again sometime in the future. I haven't started any yet, so... Uh, I don't know when. The other one I actually just finished last night was, uh, and I was surprised at how small this was from how big the um, um, picture is, but it is Blackbird by Blackbird Designs, which I just, I love anything, as you can tell, crow or blackbird. Um, and I did my own color. This is Weeks Onyx, I believe. And it was supposed to be all one color, but I wanted to do the little pot differently. So this is, I believe, Weeks Blackboard. Um, so that is that. That was really fun. The leaves were a little, um, uh, little slow, but overall, I got it done in about ten days or so. Um, so that was those were good. So those were the uh, fully finished, the um, finished objects. Sorry. Um, for the works in progress, um, I only have four going right now. Uh, I probably am going to end up doing, uh, some sort of a either, um, whip parade, like I have not started whip parade, um, and or I might also do a, um, a, um, my box, what I call my box of shame, which is a huge box of, um, stuff that I finished and I haven't done anything with. So, you know, look for those. That might happen sometime soon. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how this goes first. Um, but first, I'm going to do this oldest to newest. Um, I don't remember, unfortunately, where I got this bag, but it's really cute. It's two-sided. Um, there's the, the um, and as you can tell, this is Star Knight by, um, uh, well, by Vincent Van Gogh, which is my favorite piece of art. Um, but it's cross stitch collectibles, and this I have not done very much on, um, unfortunately, just because it's really daunting. It's very large, and um, um, I did do the. Um, this took a very very long time, but I did actually do some of the um, uh, gritting myself here. But unfortunately, I've only done a couple of little motifs here, uh, like one of these. Uh, I think that's part of the moon in the sky. Um, and I am part of a couple of things on Facebook, like um, um, Magical Stitches and, uh, and those sort of things. And so I've been doing it for that a little bit, but I just it's been really hard to get into just because it's so large and daunting. So um, I don't know if that'll ever get done, unfortunately. Um, the second one, sorry about my nose here, is... My, um, well, I can't really steal Ellen, but, uh, if I, if I had an online wife, it would definitely be Christine from Stitch All the Things. Um, she did this amazing bag. I love this, this quilting, the Harry Potter Marauder's Map, and of course the 
cool. Shiny at the bottom. Um, so this is a really cool thing that I hate I have that I have not finished. I believe it was from In Ink Circles, and it was called the uh, Mysterious Adventure Project map. Um, and the way that it worked is that the um, the color the uh, designs that you use and where you put the items on the map is totally uh, random. It's done by the roll of the dice. Um, and so that's, um, just determine like what your border look like, um, determine your size. It's going to determine like where you put your, uh, land and water. So it's a really neat idea. Um, it has finished. And as you can tell, all I have right now is the border. Um, I undid this and redid this a couple of times in parts until I found something that I thought looked nice, nice and ropey. Um, so unfortunately... And I believe this is, okay, the first one I believe was 14 count Ada. Uh, I think this is 14 count Ada uh, Dubloon, if I remember correctly. So, it's got a little bit of, uh, you can't really see the color to it, but it's got a little bit of variegation to it. Um, so, I really need to sit down and work on this. Um, the problem is it's a lot of math, and I am a bit daunted by math as well. Um, but I do have my little um, Dalmatian dice. So there you go. That's what I've been using. I've, that's some dice that I've had for a very, very long time. Uh, so I need to sit down and kind of... I think once I get the land um, kind of uh, figured out where it needs to go, I think everything else will fall in place pretty quickly. Um, but I just need to sit down and do that. And once I get past that hurdle, then I should be fine, I think. So... The next one is in a Garon tote bag, uh, which these things are great. They are on Facebook as well. Um, and this thing is 12 by 18, and it very easily fits a um, uh, 11 by 11 Q-snap. So um, there you go. Um, so now this one is kind of a neat sort of thing. This is the uh, Silver Creek Samplers um, Sing a Sampler series. And uh, so there's eight of them. This is from um, The Sound of Music. So, you know, got the Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So. And um, as you can tell, the way they have it done, um, they're kind of the same sort of colors. So what uh, somebody did online, and I apologize that I don't know who it was, they did sort of a rainbow conversion to it. And so what I've done is I've taken that rainbow conversion and I've kind of used, um, I kind of put my own colors to it. So um, this is actually where it starts. Um, you know, the one you know the notes to sing. And at the bottom it'll say, you can sing most anything. Um, now, as you can tell with these, they had them going across. Now the way that I'm going to do it is uh, I'm actually going to do it in two rows. So, you know, the Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, and La, Ti, Do, um, you know, at the bottom. So, I had to do a little finagling, which means that I also had to um, frog out a lot of this a couple of times. But I think I've got all the math down this time. Um, I didn't let the math scare me this time. Um, so, I think I've got all the math right, and it should work, should fit all together. Um... I think this is 16 count, maybe French country mocha, I believe, or something of that sort. And I apologize. I don't know exactly um, what it is. I will, I promise I will try to be better next time and get the actual, um, the actual things. So that is that one. And there is one more. And this is also in a gear on bag. It's got little froggies on it. Uh, there actually is, that's, uh, if you want to, uh, okay, it's not really focusing. I apologize. Um, but, um, if you want to go look at their bags, again, this is another 12 by 18. Um, some of the ones that I have not started yet, I have in smaller gear on bags. Um, uh, but these are really, really good quality and a very good price. So I would definitely highly recommend them. Um, so this one is, uh, and I, don't have the big picture, unfortunately. I will try to get, try to print out a big picture. Um, this is there is a um, there is a show on Amazon called Good Omens, which was based on a book by um, Terry Pratchett, 
and um, Neil Gaiman. And so, um, which is an amazing series if you can see it, um, if you have Amazon Prime. So what this is, is this is actually a stained glass um, kind of picture. And um, as you can tell, I've got, I do have one, this is, it's huge. Um, as you can see, I know my back's terrible. This is like, there's a lot of material back here. Um, because this is going to be huge. Um, I have one square done. Um, so that is, that is complete. And you can see a little bit of it over here. Um, and I apologize. I'll try to take it out of the Q-Stamp next time. And you can see that I'm doing some of the wings now. Um, that's, um, of Crowley, the, the devil, the one played by David, David Tennant. Um, and so, uh, Aziraphale will be more over here. He's the angel. Um, who is played by uh, Michael Sheen. Uh, so once I get this a little bit more done, it'll make a little bit more sense. Right now, it just looks like a whole lot of um, uh, weird gray blobs. But I promise that is a devil, a demon wing, I should say. So uh, there's that. All right, so right now, that is all of my, um, my whips. Uh, like I said, I, I have a lot of whips um, that you can't really see right over here to the side, about 25-ish, um, that are fully kitted, like, um, they have everything in them, ready to go, like, ready to just, I can pull them out and start them. Um, so I might do a non-started whip parade. Um, I might also do a under the, uh, well, I call it my box of shame. Uh, some people call it the under the bed box, but it's not in the bed. So, um, it is all of the projects that I've finished and haven't done anything with. Um, I probably won't show them all, but I might maybe show some highlights. So, maybe look for those, um, sometime soon, hopefully. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Um, so that's all the whips. Um, the next section is plans. Um, like I said, I, I'm a part of semi Saint Stitchers and, um, um, as well as the Magical Stitches and, and a couple of other ones. But lately, I haven't really been wanting to count. So I've mostly been doing either non-counting stuff or just sewing myself. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so right now, since I just finished a couple, I really want to get working on the Good Omens. I'm way, way behind. Um, uh, I have a friend of mine who uh, we have sewing days at our LNS, And I've seen she's way ahead of me for uh this good omens and it just looks amazing and i really want to get more of it done so that's kind of my my main thing that i want to focus on this week so we'll see how that works um for haul or retail therapy um i'll show what i got at the um uh for um oops sorry uh, i'll show what i got for the um uh, um, for the thing, uh, the thing that I just had last weekend. I'm sorry, my mind just blanked on that one. Um, for the uh, market, so um, some of these I pre-ordered. Um, I also went into my LNS and uh, picked up a couple of more. So it's more than I was wanting to get, but I like them all. So uh, first. Because of my name, of course, you know, I had to get a lot of stuff that had to do with bees, which I did. So, this is Hands-On Design, Humble Honey. It's the Bee's Knees. And that looks like a really cute, small, quick stitch. So, I think that should be, that should be fun. Um, and I'm, I have been really dying to do some more ink circles. And um, this is the Queen That Was. Again, kind of piratey, so, you know, I, that's why I sort of like it. Um, I still haven't decided whether I'm actually going to do the shiny crown or not. I'm not a huge fan of uh, metallics, so we'll see on that one. Um, I probably will end up doing it anyway, though. And there were two by Rivera's. Um, they should not come as any surprise with my name, but there is, um, I don't think it actually has a name. Um, but that's just like three different things. We got Queen Bee, um, what does that say? Oh, be good and be happy. <laughs> Cute. So little, little puns there. Um, yeah, I don't think Rivera actually titles their stuff. So it's just a few little, uh, kind of pillows or, 
uh, pin keeps or however you want to keep those. And there is actually a little bead charm. I can't really show it because it's the pattern. But there is a bead charm back there for it. And there's a little crown charm for this one, uh, which is... Uh, there we go. It's got B, it's got a little scap and a little, uh, a little, um, hive there. So, that should be cute. And it had, like I said, it has the, the charm that's up here in the corner. So, there you go. Not there. So, there's a couple of Rivera's. Uh, the last B one. Yes, the last B one. Uh, is B different, which I thought was really cute. A black bear rabbit. Um... I like that, and I might actually do the B in purple instead of blue, because I love purple. But we'll see. Uh, or I might just do it in blue. It's all DMC, so it'd be easy enough to, um, you know, change that out. But I thought that was really cute. And I do actually have this, um, um, what do they got? Berkshire Hive um, fabric. I believe this is supposed to be done on 28. I think I have, I think I have it in 16 or 18. So, in Ada, obviously, as you can tell, right now I have not branched out to anything other than Ada. Um, so, I do have some even weave. Um, I just have not tried to work on it yet. So, you'll hear me just say Ada. Um, whoops, I lied, actually, about the bees. But, uh, so, you know, right now you'll just hear me talk about Ada. And I lied about that being the last bee one. This one, my husband went with me, and he actually picked this one out. And he said, boy, you... This one's actually really cool. So this is actually a bunch of different things. Um, it's a needle book, a scissor case, a pin cushion, an art bag, a floss tag, a scissor fob, a pin keep, and a waxer tote. So that's why it's a little expensive, but I mean, it's got a lot of different patterns in it. I love the little, the two little bee skeps they have over here. That one and this one over here. And uh, this one right here, the floss bag. So... Um, and that, I believe, is actually sewn, not, yeah, it's sewn. Um, so that's really cool. Um, that's, I don't know if I'm going to do some of them or all of them. We'll just kind of see. Alright, and then the last one, because this is my absolute favorite movie of all time. Um, and hopefully some, got, some people will, will know what it's, what it's from. Uh, it's right here, Ray. It's looking at me. So there's a little bit of Slimer there. Um, so this is one I really do actually want to put up since both my husband and I really love Ghostbusters. So that is, uh, that is that. And I think that's all DMC as well. So, uh, that is all the retail therapy. Um, I have a couple of other ones that I'm, I'm not actually prepared to do because this is just my first time. Um, so I may or may not put them in, um, in my list. Um, I had a floss tuber of the week, a stitching website of the week, uh, a non-stitching website of the week. Um, tea of the week is probably still going to be what I drink. So, um, I may have to adjust my list a little bit. Um, I did not remember to grab a random B fact of the week because I want to kind of do that. Um, oh, the bumblebees are out. Um, it's been, in the south, it's been a very wet and warm winter. Um, so, uh, the, you know, all the trees and the flowers have been kind of crazy. Um, but finally, it started to be a little, um, a little warmer and a little, um, drier. So, um, the last couple of days, the bumblebees have really been out a lot outside of our house, which is kind of nice. So I enjoy watching them. Um, so that's kind of cool. So that's not really a random B fact of the week, but that I'll have to do for now, I suppose. Um, so my weekly non-stitchy obsession, again, I think I'll just have to wait till next week. So I'm a little bit more prepared. Um, and, uh, anything else random that I need to add? Um, can't think of anything. I, I apologize that I don't really have a great stitching place to, uh, uh, to record from. Um, as you can tell, this is my couch and, um, this is actually where I stitch from as well. I have, a my trusty lamp over here to the side, which has, uh, different, uh, things on it. I've got my tape that's on my finger. That's where I sew. That's why I have this tape on my finger. Um, some needle minders, um, you know, all sorts of good stuff on it. 
and some a lot of random stickers. So uh, it's it's just a, a lamp from Walmart. Um, but as you can tell, it's been well used and well loved and very well marked. Um, so you know, I don't really have a lot of room in my house. Um, so unfortunately, this is really the best place for me to stitch. Um, you can also see some of my um, Pop Funkos over there in the back. That And there's also some more up here at the top of the closet. That's our kitchen over there. Um, there's some more up top. Um, so, you know, it's, it's not great. But unfortunately, it's the best I can do for right now until something else changes. Um, so hopefully it's okay. It's not too distracting. Um, I guess that's really about it. I want to keep this kind of short. Um, I'm hoping to do this every week. Um, if not every week, every two weeks. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm hoping for Saturdays. Um, since I work from home, that's really going to be the easiest Saturday or Sunday. Um, that's kind of what I'm hoping to, to, um, to do. So I guess that's really about it. Um, I would really appreciate any sort of comments, you know, uh, anything I can do to make it better, uh, constructive, please. Um, and I would love to have you, um, um, you know, thumbs it up. And um, if you like it, subscribe to me. That would be great. Um, you know, like I said, I'm just starting this, so... I don't really know what I'm doing yet, so I apologize if I'm a little uh, a little weird about it. But uh, hopefully I'll get better over time, and um, hopefully this will be interesting enough that people want to watch. So uh, until a little bit later, I will talk to you guys another time. Bye.